in theory, and in many places practically, you, you get more participation, you get more productivity, you get better spirit, you get a different attitude towards democratic. We, there have been several studies. If you have workplace democracy that is real, very often you see greater democracy in the, in the community. They also participate. Um, but it's very difficult to achieve, and, it, and we, we see many experiments out of these poor communities where it's not very democratic, and that's a whole other developmental stage um, because these people have been really badly treated and badly educated. And so it's, it's by no means simple to achieve real democratic participation. You see it in upper in middle class cooperatives, and they're also middle, they exist as well, uh, and upper middle class cooperatives. Uh, there you see more participation, you see more ideology, you see more equality of different variations. But in poor communities, that's not always true. There are much more, the first requirement is income. This is 40% unemployment, and we have very little support for people who aren't working. So the question of reaching to participation is not easy. They, want, they really want their, their money and, and their job, and they have no experience. So that's another stage that, that we're trying to, we're seeing people experimenting with developing a genuine participation.